Hi guys, I am doing a wear time test on this um, Selena Gomez liquid blush. This is the shade Love. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have it very, um, I have it very, I put it on lightly. I guess you could put it that way on my cheeks. I can see it better in person as I look in the vanity mirror. I put this on at 12.25 p.m. my time. I'm going to run some errands and take care of a few things. And let's see how long it lasts throughout the day. And if anyone want, is wondering, the eyeshadow look I have in my eyes, which I am loving this eyeshadow look, is from the beautiful Pat McGrath Hutopian palette. I'm wearing this shade. Um, this shade that popped in the corner there and this pink shade out here. You guys can see. Okay. I love Pat McGrath palettes and anyone, if you watch any of my other videos, you know, when I buy stuff, I have to, I only keep things that I know I'm going to use. And when it comes to Pat McGrath, that is one brand that I literally use up. I use all of her, the palettes I purchased from her line. The same thing for Natasha Denona, Charlotte Tilbury, Tom Ford. So that's definitely me, okay? <laughs> and I am wearing my, the contour and the bronzer from the Tammy face palette, deep dark palette. Let's show you guys again. Well, except for the blush and this, I'm not, of course. In the highlighter, I'm not wearing that, but I am loving this. Okay, guys, so let me get going with my day, and I'll be back to check on um, to see how the longevity of this. Bye. Hi, guys, it's 2.25. I'm in Starbucks. Um, I'm looking to see, do you guys see the blush? I see it very little, so it did diminish or fade a little bit. Um, yeah, it faded a little bit. And that's only two hours, like about two hours, because I made sure it hit two hours, because I first put it on, I said it was 12.25, right now it's 2.25. It faded a little bit, but you can tell I have something on my cheeks. I mean, it still looks nice, but let's see, um, let's go on throughout the day. All right, I'll be back. Hi guys, I'm back, I am home. It's about five o'clock p.m. my time. So from the time I put on that Rare Beauty blush, which was 12.25 to 5 o'clock, it's, what's that, five hours? Uh, well, close to five hours, um, if you want to be technical. It's close to five hours. And I do not see the blush. <laughs> it's completely faded. Uh, I'm looking at, I mean, maybe a little bit, a little, maybe. Um, yeah, and as you can tell, my lipstick bled, because I just took my mask off, um, and the lipstick I was wearing, I am wearing, is the Lady Bold Lipstick by Too Faced in the shade Rebel. Uh, so that definitely also <laughs> bled, which I'm not surprised, I was wearing a mask, I was eating, I was drinking, you know, so that's bound to happen. This eyeshadow um, by Pat McGrath is stayed. So, and I use the Artistry Wand as a eyeshadow primer, actually. And it still looks beautiful. Like, even, I, I'm not wearing foundation. I'm wearing concealer. I just put some concealer in the areas where it's dark and like spot there, spot there. It doesn't look bad. Um, but that is not, yeah. This blush does not have good longevity. Um... When I recorded the video at 2.25, it already had faded significantly. Now it's 5 o'clock, less than two hours, a little less than two hours from 2.25, and I don't even see it. Maybe a little, little speck, but it's gone. <laughs> it is gone. So this Rare Beauty blush does not have good longevity, and I do like this color. It's a very pretty color, but I'm not sure if I want to keep it. Especially since I will be transitioning to working outside the home. I want to wear makeup that is long lasting cause, and I will be working eight hour shifts. Okay. So I want makeup that at least lasts more than five hours. If it can last, if I prefer makeup that can at least last six or more hours. 
look at this eyeshadow this is still looking nice i did not retouch it okay so if if i could get eyeshadow um that last six plus hours i want to say i expect the same for my face products you know foundation concealer blushes lipstick even the lipstick is holding up although it bled i didn't be applied the lipstick it, and it's still looking good so although this is a nice blush and the finish is nice if you're looking for something that lasts more than um three hours four hours i don't recommend this so this may be going back uh yeah these these blushes will be going back i'm thinking because like i said i, I like make up that least last six plus hours and the powder blushes i have they last that long I will say this is this does have better longevity than the lys blushes i will say that <laughs> i definitely will say that um but it's not there for me so and um i also i want to say that in my next upcoming video i did receive some products that i ordered from the brand in the Sona sephora website valentino so i ordered their mascara i definitely want to try this out tomorrow and i ordered their foundation i'm hoping this is my right shade so now what the way it's advertised on sephora website i didn't notice that this has sunscreen in it because the picture of it i didn't really zoom in to like look at the actual bottle to, to and read it i was going more so based on the wording of the description of the product which is below the picture of the product and nowhere in that worded description does it say it has sunscreen so when i when i received this delivery order delivered to my home today and it's and i'm like sunscreen spf 26 it's just I mean, I've used some, pro I had some bad experiences in the past using products that has SPF because it's like, it irritated my skin or it made me itch. So I'm a little, I mean, I'm gonna try it. It's SPF 26. That's an odd number, 26, whatever. And, um, you know what, actually, I think I'm gonna do a patch test. Maybe I could do a pa patch test cause I'm not wearing any makeup here. And I always want my foundation to definitely match my neck and my chest. So let's, let's, let me just do a quick patch test, but hold on. I'm going to put this on pause because I am cooking leftover dinner. I'll be back. I'm back. So, um, I'm going to put a little bit of my hand. This looks, this is definitely, this is considered... The, the shade number of this is DA3, which is um, supposed to be, so I can remember, warm, neutral undertone. Like deep, like deep skin tone, deep, warm, neutral undertone. Now, they do also have a deep, golden, neutral undertone. So, for this warm, deep, warm, neutral undertone, this looks like it has olive undertones to me. What do you guys think? That, I don't know. Let me blend it out more. All right, now let me try the neck. So I'm just going to put a little bit here on the, not where I just applied it, like here. I'm going to take this brush. I'm dropping stuff. You guys see it? I'm gonna put a little bit more. I'm gonna put it like way little teeny tiny dots. Hmm. Maybe I let it stick. On. It's not bad, but it's not. It just looks like an olive undertone to me. Cause I'm more golden. If you guys can notice, my undertone is more golden. But I do have some reddish undertone, but it's more. Mm. I'm looking in the vanity mirror. I'm just gonna put a. I'm gonna put much more. I got a better. I'm not liking this. 
this is too olive undertone on me. I think, because I'm if I can remember from the Pat McGrath, the Deep 30 I have, that's a um um golden neutral undertone. I'm sure that's what it says. So I think I should have gotten the deep golden neutral undertone because maybe for warm, you know, I'm talking about for this brand Valentino, maybe when they say deep warm neutral undertone maybe they mean closer to olive warm because olive undertone is closer to the warm it's considered like the warm undertone side rather than cool so because this looking is looking like an olive undertone to me and i don't feel like this is a great match like even my beauty blender like i'm gonna put this here like you know i'm gonna put some of the beauty blender maybe on this side of the neck so you guys can see what i'm talking about um let me use a different uh uh, I'm going to use a different brush. Uh, hold on. I want to normally use this big brush, but this is what I could grab at this moment. <laughs> so let me see. I'm going to put this here, the Beauty Blender. You see, this closely, I feel this better matches me. This light has the golden, and this D2 of the Beauty Blender is considered, I think it's golden neutral. But I feel this looks better than this. This kind of, it's coming across as ashy and olive undertone, and I am not olive undertone. I'm golden, but not olive. Yeah, I think this looks better than this. This just looks way too olivey and ashy. So that's the thing I hate about ordering online. And I did do the shade match that Sephora has on their website where you can put um, another foundation you have in their shade and they're supposed to match. But I put the Pat McGrath one, guys, and they wasn't able to match it. So that was no help. So I just had to guess and choose this one. So this is getting returned because I am not liking this. This is definitely too olive. I, 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 I feel like this is like an olive undertone. I'm going to look in the bathroom too. I'll be back. Okay. I looked in my um, bathroom mirror, which has more of the natural light. It doesn't look bad, but I wonder, I have a feeling I would do better with the golden, the deep golden neutral undertone. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm still going to return it because although it doesn't look bad, it's, I think I could do better with a different, with the other shade. So I'm going to return this. And it's a shame because I used my 20% off coupon for that. Um, and I've read good reviews about this, but you know, Hey, things happen for a reason. Go with the flow of the universe, you know, and it has SPF 26 and I particularly don't care for foundations that has SPF 26 I already wear SPF ooh, I already wear SPF anyway and um sometimes they irritate my skin so maybe it's a good thing that I have to that I have to return it anyway so but tomorrow I will definitely be trying out this mascara um let me see how it looks okay this looks like this okay it's not it doesn't seem gl gl too globby globby you know like some mascaras are that Pat McGrath one that I have, I think it's called Fetish Eyes. That's definitely very, has a lot of like product, too much product come out, comes like appears on the wand when you take it out. So, all right, guys, let me get going. I am exhausted. I was very busy today, but tomorrow I will, um, I'm afraid to even try this one because I'm just not, I don't want to look like this olive grayish warm undertone type of, I don't know, but, um, I'm definitely going to use the mascara. Let's see how that turns out. And I don't know. It's like I want to return this, but it, it looks so nice. It's just, especially since I'm going to be working outside the home, I really want something that at least will last six hours. You know, I don't care how nice it is. I want something that at least last six hours, especially for $20 for a blush. I mean, that better last about six hours or more. It ain't even last close to five hours. Like I said, um, when I made a video two twenty five. That was only two hours from the time I put it on, and it faded a lot. That's that's crazy. So, I mean, if my other makeup could last longer, so I expect the blush to do the same. 
all right guys i hope you liked this video and if anyone's watching this video for the first time if you liked and enjoyed it please hit the like and subscribe button and i definitely would love for you to be a part of my community bye